Let's take a break from the deep dives to do a single episode tutorial. Sound good? We're going to keep it short and sweet this week and talk about event listeners. This is something that for a long time was just a let jQuery handle it thing, but as the JS world moves more towards either more complex frameworks or just using vanilla JS, understanding how event listeners work can be really useful. We talked about them a bit in JS Quick Hits 17, but this will go into a little more detail. At their core, event listeners are a way to make sure your website reacts when stuff happens. I don't know for sure what the most commonly used listener is, but I'd be surprised if it wasn't either click or mouse enter. Those two have been in use on the web basically since JS was invented, and describe two of the most common website interactions that are possible. There are many others built into JavaScript by default. You can also choose to emit your own events, which we'll probably cover in its own tutorial at some point. For now, let's stick with existing events. Specifically, a click event. As you can see, we have some HTML here already. We've got a click button and a mouse over me box. Neither of those do anything yet. Obviously, they soon will. Let's add some listeners so that something happens when we do these things. Between those two script tags, add the following. These are just some helpers so we don't have to keep writing document.getElementById button click me and so forth every time. Now that we have those helpers, let's use them to create our first listener. That wasn't too terribly difficult. You can save and refresh, then click the button, and we'll see that this is working. All we're doing is telling our listener Hey, when the button is clicked, run this anonymous function. You can do this as many times as you like. Event listeners stack. Add this code. Save and reload. And when you click, you'll see that both of our listeners have fired. In general, they'll fire sequentially, in the order that you've defined them in the code, but beware of any anonymous functions that run asynchronous code. As with all async stuff, that'll fire when it's good and ready and not in any particular order. Want to use a named function instead of an anonymous one? Can do! Check this out. Save that. And refresh. Now every time you mouse over that box, It'll console log that text. That's mildly annoying though, so let's talk about removing event listeners. You can only do that with named functions. If you use anonymous functions, there's no way to tell the JS engine what to remove. Fortunately, our mouse over function is named myFunk, so we can remove it. We're going to write a function to do that, and I'll explain why in a second. First, let's write it. So. Obviously, if we just put that in the code directly, it'll remove the event listener before we ever get the chance to trigger it by mousing over the box. So let's call the function after we mouse over once by changing our myFunk function to look like this. There. Now we'll only get our mouse over text once before the listener is removed. Feel free to save and refresh and see for yourself. One. But no more than one. Finally, it's important to note that event listeners return an event object with a ton of details about whatever element was clicked, moused over, etc. That variable is very typically represented as event, evt, or just e in JavaScript code, and you'll see it all over the place. It's immensely useful in a variety of situations. Let's take a quick look at it with the following code. Save. Refresh, mouse over the box, we'll get our one log there, click the box, check your console, and you'll see the event object. If we expand it, we can look at the wealth of information that's available there. All kinds of stuff. Would you like me to go over some of what's there in a future tutorial? Drop me a comment and let me know. I'm thinking about diving into MongoDB next week. That's not exactly a JS subject, but it's JS related and will allow me to do some other interesting tutorials. Any interest? Leave me a comment about that too. Until next week.